Oh boy, I'm very excited about making this video. I, I've been looking forward to it. The The two previous videos in this uh, Tangram series uh, sort of is a lead up to this, so I that I want to make all the references that I want and that it'll make sense. Uh, when I was visiting uh, the book artist Hedy Kyle, she had Tangrams that she had folded. And although I really like working, I like the ease of working with these paper tabs, tangrams that I cut out there was something about her folded ones that just have a little bit more heft and I just love them so um, so I asked her how she did it uh, she uses this book uh, she got the directions in this book the new origami by Stephen and Me Megan Megan Biddle uh, and I have since seen other directions I like these very much I haven't seen any directions I've liked for making the square uh, and I'm going to show you a way that I think is a better one that, than is in the book, but I'm also going to show you what's in the book so you can make your own decision. Okay, so to do this, you need five pieces of paper. I'm using six inch squares simply because I like using uh, this beautiful origami paper that I have, which is in six inch squares. Um, and so I just want them all to match. I don't want to show it to you using these papers because it's just too hard to see the folds. So I've got this uh, Fagless art paper that I've been using. It's very nice. It's a nice weight for these sort of things. And uh, yes, but you, you, you do what you want. I recommend highly using a bone folder folding tool to uh, make your creases because they will look so much better if the creases are tight. So you need five pieces of paper. You need um, you need one for each of the large isosceles right triangles. You need one for the par parallelogram. You need one for the square. And you need one that's divided up into three pieces um, for the medium isosceles right triangle and the two small ones. Okay, so that's what you need to start with. Um, we're going to start making the large isosceles right triangle. And if you remember from previous videos, the, pre the previous video, that um, these can all be decomposed into isosceles right triangles, the, 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 um, the tangram can. So it should come as no surprise that you're going to see a lot of isosceles right tri triangles in construction. Now this is the uh, the folding pattern that we're going to make. Um, start off by putting the color that you want to see on the bottom. Fold it in half one way. Open it up. Fold it in half the other way. Open it up, and bring the each corner carefully to the middle. Now I like to, I'm going to open up one of these and I like to rotate this because I like this to be this center line to be seem to go straight up and down. Um, and by the way, notice all the, this is the, the actual size of the piece. So we're just going to basically be fold and continue to fold this into each other. So first, first step is to fold the left side over to the right and then bring the bottom part up. So you see it sort of wraps into itself. There we have it pretty much, right? We just need to take care of this. Unfortunately, there's a pocket here. Okay, I'm going to slide this into the pocket. But before that, I'm going to take my fingernail or a folding tool and kind of create a kind of a curl on this paper and make sure that this fold is nice and tight and then I'm going to look into the pocket and curl it right into that pocket. Okay, there you go. Um, I will be repeating this sequence of folds at the very end with the small isosceles right triangles. So if you didn't quite catch that, you'll, you'll see it again. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is parallelogram. Okay, so same thing, the side that I want to, 
C starts face down. I'm going to fold it in half. Open it. Fold it in half again. And then gate fold it. Gatefold means bringing the edges to the middle. Okay. So we've got this. This is this is how we're starting. Now it doesn't say to do this in the book, but I like. I want to right now. I want to also I want to gatefold it this way. We're going to be needing these folds, and I'd like to have them in there. So there we go. Okay, now this is going, I want to give you the, the sort of the concept of this. Basically, I'm going to be rolling this across, but before each roll, I do a step. Okay, so first step will be to fold the right corner down to the fold line. Well, the not the fold line, the center line. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to roll it over. Now, uh, we have the beginning look of our parallelogram. Um, I'm going to be making a fold on the bottom corner, and that fold is going to be tucked in. And if you make pop-ups, you'll be very familiar with this kind of fold. If you're not, uh, just watch carefully. So I'm folding it. I'm going to reverse fold it too to make sure it's a nice tight fold. And now here's that fold that you often do in pop-ups. I'm going to slide it inside. There we go. It's inside. Okay, so we've done something. Now we get to roll it again. I'm going to roll it again. And I'm going to fold, but I'm going to do it up here on the upper right. So same thing. I'm going to fold it one way. Fold it the other way and then slide it inside. Okay, there you go. Now, for, before I do the last roll, which is actually going to be this one going in, um, I'm going to take this left corner and bring it down to meet the shape. And there it is. And now I'm going to take this and tuck it inside two layers here and I want it to be on on this under go into this upper layer so there it is it's going in and we almost have our shape back right I just have to, to do something with this unfortunately there's a little pocket there so I'm going to make a nice tight fold to make sure it goes in. And maybe I'll do that thing with the sliding to sliding the folder over to make it easier to curl in. There's my pocket. And where's my pocket? And slide it in. Here we go. Yay! Parallelogram. Okay, next up I'm going to do, next up I'm going to do the, uh, the smaller, the medium size isosceles right triangle. Okay, this is kind of interesting because it starts off looking like a parallelogram. So, I'm going to take this half sheet. Now remember, I got this half sheet. I'm taking a full sheet. Um, if you, I hope you could tell from the beginning video, at the beginning of the video, that this is just half of one of these sheets. The, the, this is six by three. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is face down again. Fold it over. Open it up, and it's going to end up looking like our parallel parallelogram. 
by bringing the top point over to the middle and the bottom point over to the middle. And look, it's, it's got those two isosceles right triangles in it that are um, inverted ones of each other. And we've got our parallelogram. Okay, so this is going to be a similar thing that we're going to be rolling it, uh, rolling it to the right uh, size and the right shape. Okay, so start by rolling by, I'm going to take size and shape we're going to get. I'm going to roll that in half, making a nice tight fold. Get out that kink if I need to. Then I'm going to roll it up again. And here's our shape. We still have this to contend with, but fortunately, yes, indeed, we have another pocket. So I'm going to make sure I get a nice good fold in there. Just going to create this fold nicely. And make that roll and slide it in. Okay, and now we just need one of these. Just like we just needed one of the parallelogram. But we need two of these. Okay, so now let's see, I'm going to do the little ones. Now you're going to need two, and this is the other half of the piece of paper one of the large pieces of paper that we started with. Um, I'm only going to make one uh, because actually a good reason why because is because it's the same sequence of folds as I made originally. Okay so if you missed any of that you get to see it again which is folding it in half and Folding it in half, open it up, bring the corners to the middle, corners to the middle, open one up, rotate it so this is a straight line up and down, vertical line, I'm going to bring it over. It's still too big, All right? So I need to bring this up. We've got our shape, except we have a wayward edge coming out, and that's going to go into our little pocket. There it is. I'm going to slide it in. So using the six by six inch helps because if these get really tiny, they get really hard to work with. Okay, so you make two of these. Okay, that all went really well. So I have one left to do, and I'm going to show you two ways. And if I mess up, I'm going to edit out the last part and uh, do it again because it's hard for me sometimes to keep all of these in my head, especially these two. But I might make it to the end of this video without messing up. Okay, this is actually what I've done here is, let's see, what I've done here is I've taken a full sheet of this paper. I've folded in half both ways. I think I'll actually do it with this one. Um, I have folded in half both ways. Brought everything to the middle. So everything's been brought to the middle. But what I've done is now I've cut these lines. I've cut these lines off so that I actually have pieces this shape. So I like this method of doing it better because Otherwise, your square 
gets very thick. And that might be okay with this fadeless paper, but if you're using some nice paper that you like um, of your own, and it could just get really thick. So this is my method. Uh, you can see it's much thinner than the method in the book. Okay. And I don't mind having these leftover pieces because I can actually make, cut another tanagram from these pieces. Okay, so I've cut these edges. Okay, and this actually goes pretty easily. I'm going to fold this to the center. I'm just going to fold two to the center. Okay, two to the center. And then there's this line across, right, from the point to what would have been the other point, the center of the other one. And I'm going to bring that up. Okay, you get that? Bring that up, turn it over. Bring this down, bring the top down. We almost have our square. Um, I'm going to fold over to make our square. And I'm just feeling that's, that's giving me a little bit of, even this thickness is giving me a little bit of a hard time. So I'm going to, there. Fold it over. If I've got a little bit of a kink, I curl it a little bit. There it is. There's my square with this little extra bit there. Fortunately, we have a pocket. There we go. There's the pocket. And I slide it in. There we go. You didn't see me slide it in, but hopefully you can trust that I did. I'll do it again. So there's that little piece. Get out, get out there. There's that little pocket. Slide it in. Okay. Easy peasy. I'm actually going to do that again because there's something about it that seems confusing, I think. So you start with the uh, you started off folding in half both ways, one, two, and then you bring the, the uh, pieces to the middle, except you don't bring them all to the middle. You only need these two to the middle. Okay. This gets folded up, the bottom gets folded up, turn it over, bring this down, fold it in half and slide it into the pocket. There you go. Okay, so now for the other method. The other method, and like I said, this is a little bit hard for me to keep in my head at the, all at the same time. The other, so I sort of pre-folded it. Um, the other method starts with, also starts with folding in half both ways. And then we're just gonna bring two to the center. And now what I'm going to do is bring this lower part up to the center also. Um, I'll take the right side and bring that to the vertical. Okay. And now this edge right here, this, this uh, bottom strip, it gets folded up. Okay. Now, I need this to come down. I need to get rid of that. If you look inside here, there's there's a few layers. When you fold this in, be sure to cap capture uh, this triangle in between uh, the the two top the two top layers in between them. There we go. It's looking good. Okay. Now I've got three squares here. You can see one, two, three. And I'm going to roll the first two back. And I've got my square here. 
except I've got this piece at the end. As usual, we have a handy little pocket, but there's a little bit of a problem here that we didn't face before, which is there's so many thicknesses that this is not going to fit into that pocket if you try to put it in. Um, it's just a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do, uh, first I'm going to make my, I'm going to make it so that it'll curl nicely when I do put it in. And this is in the book. They want you to uh, bevel the edge. And I think that's the best way to do it if you're going to do it this method. Um, and then you can much more easily Okay. See how easy that is? <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. Keep going. It's so many layers. It's tough to get in, but you can keep you can do it. Just fumble with it until it's done. Okay, there we go. And again, you can see the difference between the thicknesses and it does it can make a difference. It's, again, it's up to you which way to do it. Okay, so that's it. I got through it. Um, we have all of our pieces. Let's see, how does this go? And they're gorgeous. And uh, yeah. Let's see, there's a square there and we'll put this there. And you've got folded origami tiles. Very exciting.